just try it. The, let's just try the, uh, the, your, the ABC sound check. Go ahead. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Hey. H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. You go, girl. Q, R, S, hey. T, U, V. Uh-huh. W, X. Yep. Y, and Z. Woo. Now I know my A, B, C. Sure do. Next time, won't you sing with me? Oh. Excellent, excellent, excellent. All right. Thank you. Hey, so just to let you know, oh, I'm going to move this a little bit. We were recording, and you are, that's, you're on Kid Friday. Yes. <laughs> All right. We do the show because you're a kid in a digital world. I'm Dave, and Sophie, who is like the smartest person, <laughs> I one of the Thank smartest you. I've ever known. It, for, it doesn't matter how old she is. She's like one of the smartest people I know. Thank you. I, yeah, you don't know. You don't have to, you're welcome. But I'm just saying, uh, this, and she's she knows her stuff. I'm telling you, she knows her stuff. One thing I noticed, so if I'm just going to do on the roll here, uh, on the fly or whatever, is I'm going to try and move uh, move that cube over, move, move the Kid Friday logo a little bit, and maybe uh, can we can we uh, move it? Uh, look at that, move it around, right? Yeah. All right. So, welcome to Kid Friday. We do the show because you're a kid in a digital world. As I said, I'm Dave. This is Sophie. Oh, Hello. Show 224 of Kid Friday. We do the show because I just said it. You're a kid in a digital world. Did you catch that one? I think I did. Hey, yes. did your microphone go down or is it okay? I think it's okay. Right. Yeah. Just make sure you get up there. All right. So what are we going to talk about on this Kid Friday? You know, we, it's, a, it's a tech show for, for kids. And um, hey, do you, do you um, buy stuff on Amazon? I have before, yes. You have? Really? Yeah. So, have you ever returned anything? I actually, I did before because I never received it. So, I just emailed the seller and I just got money from a gift card back and I could just buy the same thing or oh. whatever else Well, I you wanted. didn't return it because you never got it. You're right. So, but, that's not but put it this way. Amazon is banning people who return things too much. Yikes. Boom, you're out. You're Good thing I only did it once. You're, you're, well, I'm just saying. Uh, hey, have you ever flown Spirit Airlines? I have not. You have not. No. Okay. Uh, you know what? Big news. It's funny because all these airlines are already doing. They're going to be offering Wi-Fi. We're going to be talking about Whoa. that on the plane. Whoa! Is that breaking news or what? Huh? Uh, let's see. <laughs> Apple. Um, Apple never admits. That they have a problem with their products, however, uh, and I went through this and I paid, I think it was about $150, something like that, to get That's the keyboard replaced. Um, on some two, uh, 2015 MacBooks, uh, instead of, uh, well, I'll tell you the story, but um, the keyboards, some of them started freezing, and so much so that there is a class action lawsuit that is being filed with Apple. And what Apple usually does is they'll say, uh, if you've already done it, we'll give you your money. But well, we'll get to it when we get to the story. All right. Um, uh, YouTube. Do you watch YouTube? Yes. You watch a lot of YouTube? I wouldn't say that much, but I do watch videos here and there. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Well, um, YouTube, believe it or not, YouTube is just so you know, Google owns YouTube. Did you know that? I did not. Yeah, I yeah. I feel like I've heard it before. They bought, yeah, they bought them. I remember, I remember it was, any, regardless, I said, um, <laughs> they have a reminder now that you can set to remind you like you're watching too much YouTube. Oh, really? Yeah, because some people like watch a lot of YouTube, you know? I Same. guess, yeah. I'm just saying. All right, Amazon, the, the Amazon Echo, are you familiar with the Echo and all, you know? Like Alexa and... Exactly, yeah, yeah. yeah. So they have a... Uh, uh, Amazon has an, uh, an Echo for kids, and there are some security issues and questions about uh, information regarding children. And... Really important thing. So something to uh, we'll, get to we'll get to that story. You know, it's okay. interesting, Sophie. I know you've never been here. You've or we're Studio C today, by the way. You've, you've never been on Kid Friday. Sometimes we never talk about anything. I say we're going to talk about. Yeah. We're going to talk about Reese's Pieces. That's what we're going to talk about. Okay, I right? love those. I know, I know. That's what I'm saying. We're going to talk about that. All right. So let's get going. It's show two twenty four of Kid 
Friday, can you give me a countdown from five? Five, four, three, two, one. Hit it, hit it, hit it. Oh! <laughs> Let's get this party started. Right. Yeah, I'm a kid. I love computers. I have an iPod. I'm a gadget freak. I like to play with my display. I do it every day. I have awesome technique. Yeah, I'm a kid Friday. I love this stuff, can't you see? Yeah, I'm a kid Friday. Yay, oh, yay, oh, yay, oh, yay. Kid Friday brought to you by Story Cub, a video picture books. It is story time all the time at storycub.com. Sophie, do you, you're a reader yourself, aren't you? Yes, you I know, am. Are you? You know what? I, I, I kind of have an in. I know some people at the Story Cub. Maybe... Maybe you could be one of the readers. Maybe it sounds really cool. I've always wanted to really? do that. Yeah. So on the screen there, I should change different people because there's a bunch of people. By the way, do you see do you see yourself? I do. Yeah, okay. it's so pretty cool. Kid, okay. So Kid Friday is viewed in over 200 countries. Last time I checked, 224 countries. Whoa. So uh, can you wave to uh, everyone around the world? Wherever you may be, whatever time of day you're watching or listening to Kid Friday. Uh, so uh, Julie is on the screen there. Uh, she's one of the readers from Story Cup. There's a guy I should put on there, Eric, right? Because Eric, not only is he a great storyteller, but um, he knows how to do this awesome balloon stuff. Like, so, like make balloon animals? Yeah, or... yeah. So before he reads a story, like a lot of the time, he'll go, hey, we're going to do a, yeah, you know, there's a dog or there's a chicken in this uh, book. I'm going to make a balloon chicken. And he like, you know, you see him do it. And I go, it's a, he's, a, he's really good. He knows, he knows his stuff. So he's still, I don't know, make the chicken, right? Or whatever it is. So, uh, and then there's, oh, there's Morgan. There is Hannah. There is, um, Oh, I always forget her name. Why do I always forget her name? Wow, this show got quiet for a second, didn't it? Huh? <laughs> yeah. Um, anyway, uh, there's a whole bunch of people. There's uh, Lizzie. There, there is uh, Stephanie. There is Alexa. Alexis. Le- Le- do, you, do you drive Alexis? I do not know. Oh, you're not driving. Okay. I, I can't drive. Yeah, you're not old enough to drive. Uh, Alexa, uh, I'm sorry. I, I, anyway, the bottom line is this. What it is, there's real people reading stories to you mixed in with the illustrations from the book. And that way, no matter where you are, if you're in the car, if you're walking around uh, Lake of the Isles, if you are uh, on a jet plane on your way to the United Arab Emirates and they have Wi-Fi, I know. Uh, <laughs> if you're in Israel, if you're in Kuwait, if you're in Zimbabwe, because yes, we have people in Zimbabwe watching Kid Friday, storycub.com, check it out. There are stories, new stories being added like every day. It's Really cool. It's story time all the time. You can also see Story Cub in iTunes podcast, and we want to thank them. So thank you, Story Cub. Can you say thank you, Story Cub? Thank you, Story Cub. For being a sponsor right here on Kid Friday. Ah! All right, Sophie, I'm not, uh, first off, how old are you, Sophie? I'm 14. Sophie, tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, well, my name is Sophie, obviously. Uh, I really like dogs. They're my favorite animals. And my favorite color is probably pink or maybe teal. Yeah, I like both of those colors a lot. Do you have a dog? I do not. I really want a dog, but my oh, mom won't get me one. You know what? That sounds like a mean mom. No, I'm kidding. No, uh, what, if she's you, nice most of the time. She's you know? awesome. I know your mom. She's yeah. awesome. Hey, so um, if you were to get a dog, 
did you have a particular breed in mind? Is there any kind of dog? That yeah, you, I'd really? probably get a smaller dog, like a like toy a poodle or a miniature poodle, oh. because they're really fluffy and they won't shed. And then you can get their hair cut in like different styles and make them look super cool. I could totally see you doing the dog's nails. Right? I don't think that's good for the dog, you, but nah, maybe if they you're, got you're dog big, nail polish, you're then big, maybe. Because you're big into nail polish, and I, yeah. I, I've, I've seen dogs with nail polish on them. I think there might be dog nail polish then. Really? Yeah. Maybe. Peanut cause... butter flavored, and they just... <laughs> <laughs> maybe. Oh, okay. All right. So, uh, so, let's see. You like dogs. Your favorite color is pink or teal, and you're 14, and uh, is school all almost over, I guess, right? Yeah, two more weeks, and then I'm done with the eighth grade. Wow! Eighth grade. And then are you going to another school then, or are you in the same school? Well, since I go to a junior high, it's 7th, 8th, ninth, and then in 10th grade, I'll go to high school. So you're going to rule the school next year. Yeah. Right? <laughs> huh? You're going to be like... All these little kids come in into school, and you, huh? Yeah. That's what I was. I got pushed into the locker when I, when oh, I was in that, seventh that's grade. That's sad. All those ninth graders. Ooh, those ninth graders. Ooh, because I, I went through the same thing, seven, eighth, and ninth, right? So, okay, so you're going to be, it's interesting because I, you said junior high, and junior, I said, I went to a junior high. A lot of people, they don't call them that. They call them middle schools. Yeah. Now. What's, a, what's, the, what's the deal with that? I don't well, I think since it's a middle school, it's sixth grade, seventh grade, and eighth grade. And then in ninth grade, they move up to the high school. So since it's younger kids, it's called like middle school, I guess. Well, who, whose job is it to uh, decide what age you have to be to be in middle school? Is there a conference on that? Or? I don't know. I thought at one point they were going to change it for my school, but I no. guess they didn't, and I don't really know. It just seems like it seems like the word middle school is in fashion these days. Maybe not. Maybe, Maybe where you live. I don't know. Who knows? All right. Hey, so on a previous show, Sophie, I mentioned um, by uh, the studio that I work at, my office, there's some streets right near there. That are all named. First off, you you're big time into music. You play trumpet. I heard you had a, a unbelievable recital last. Uh, with, did you guys have a performance? Yeah. A couple of days ago or something like that. A couple of days ago, yeah. I heard it went really well. Uh, congratulations, you play trumpet. Thank you. Yes, I. And do. it's tough to play trumpet with braces on. I'm yeah. telling you. And uh, I, anyway. Uh, so, but you're big time into music, right? Yeah, I and, like And so, uh, some of your favorite artists right now? Um, probably Beyonce or Shawn Mendes or, yeah. Yeah? Whatever's uh -huh. on the radio, I guess. So, so check this out. By my office, there's a neighborhood. And all the streets are named after some kind of a musical thing. Really? Yeah, yeah. And so, check out, check this out. Look at that. Uh, I can actually uh, use a pointer here. I can point to it and say, look, and I have memory lane. I think that's for the old people, right? <laughs> All right, okay. Yes. Look at concerto curve, like a concert. Okay. Look at that. Melody drive. Isn't this interesting? I, I had no idea that, the, that this neighborhood, uh, was it a music teacher who uh, owned that, owned all this? Look at tempo terrace, lyric lane. I don't know. I just thought that was kind of interesting that because, um, number one, usually in neighborhoods, uh, it's alphabetical, right? Maybe, yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, like you're on, you know, I don't know, at least where I grew up and where I even, even uh, where Studio C is, we're on an E Street, and then there's a D, and there's a C before that, an A before, you know. Yeah. Yeah, e, F, yeah. So you can so, remember what. Yeah. yeah so you know. Yeah. So, but uh, check that out. Do you wanna? Do you wanna try this? Press. Just press down, and then you can move it around. You have to. No. You, you have to hold it down and hold it down while you move it. And you, yeah. Now you know. You hold it down, and then you can move it like this. See. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Yeah. Just to get the hang of it, in case you need it sometime. If you want to use it sometime during the uh, Kid Friday 
uh, podcast here. All right, so, and we're getting rid of that, and we'll get rid of the uh, lanes. I just thought that was kind of interesting. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, names cool. on the streets. I want to, uh, it's like, I want to live on there. Except. Me too. I don't, I, I don't know. I don't know if it's such a good neighborhood. So, just saying. Okay, now, uh, so Amazon, right? You know, you, you said you, you've bought Am- something on Amazon, you never got it, and then you, but they gave you credit. Yeah. So. You know what? Amazon has actually been very good to me um, on stuff. I had to return something. and So some stuff is shipped directly from Amazon, where people have stuff in Amazon's warehouse, and... Um, and it ships out of there, right? So let me see if I can get this thing going here. Uh, and 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 the thing is, is that they're changing their their ways now, but they're banning shoppers who return items too often. And the, you know what the thing is, so they don't tell you. I hate that when companies don't tell you why. Exactly. I mean, obviously you can figure it out, but some people don't return so much. You know, so Amazon's flexible return policy may not be as risk-free as you think. The company bans shoppers for violations, which includes uh, returning items too often, according to the Wall Street Journal. Uh, Some users aren't told what they did wrong. Amazon boasts, you know, free and easy returns for many of its items, which has pushed uh, many brick-and-mortar stores. You know what a brick-and-mortar store is? It's, a, it's an actual store that you go yeah. to, like, you know, a Target. You actually, you know, because they, bricks, you know, like, like, they could be. So, made like, an bricks. actual building. Yeah, an actual building that you go into. Store. They, yeah, so they, that's, that's what a brick and mortar store is, is an actual store that you go that you walk into. Uh, so, uh, any, uh, as uh, a lot of these other stores, these brick and mortar stores, um, have uh, struggled to compete with the e commerce giant. Turns out Amazon's return policy. Uh, may come with a price. Dozens of people have taken to Twitter and Facebook to complain about Amazon closing their accounts without warning or an explanation, according to the journal. Uh, one guy said that he he was exiled from Amazon for excessive returns. Other people have noted that they've been banned uh, from Amazon for similar reasons. And, uh, you know, I think, I think in, in situations like that, I think some people, there's some people out there, I'm not saying these people, but some people that could possibly take, be taking advantage. Yeah. You know, like, um, let's say you bought a TV. Well, well, okay. Let's say you went to a brick and mortar store, right? Okay. Target, let's just say. Yeah, okay. A lot of people around the world don't, don't know what Target is, but, um, so let's just say you went out and you bought a TV, all right? And you had it for a while, and then you said, I'm going to move my TV. This is not based on a true story, by the way. I'm just making this up along the way. And let's say your dog was with you, okay? What, okay. Would, you, what would your dog's name be? I don't know. I think it depends when I get my dog to choose the name. All right. Well, if it was, would you want a boy dog or a girl dog? I don't know. I'd probably want to get my dog from a shelter or nice. something like that. Nice. So it's like that's what I did. When helping I was, it, and then when I was your age, that's what I did. Yeah, yeah. it was a cockapoo. Those are cute. I'd want one of those. And he, and he already had a name, so we kept it. it was, yeah, it was Boone. If I had a dog with a name, I'd probably keep it, so I wouldn't confuse the dog. Yeah. Right. Uh, anyway, so let's say uh, your dog uh, is. Uh, uh, yeah, how about this? Let's say your dog uh, accidentally jumps up, although you want a little one, but uh, jumps up and the TV falls over and breaks. Yeah. So, so no people do. They go to Amazon, and if that TV's available, they order the same one. And then, uh, and then they, they, they say, oh, uh, my, you know, the TV I got is broken, the one you sent. They and put then the old one back the in. Yeah, uh-huh, and they'll switch the spots and keep the nice right, one. Right, right, right. See? I'm I'm not trying to put ideas out there. I'm just saying that I've heard of situations like this, right? So, and then, so not so much, uh, you know, if you return a lot. Now, if you return stuff, though, that just doesn't fit or whatever, I think you should have a good, you know, a good return policy. Don't you? Yeah, especially if you don't wear it or anything. 
Yeah. Well, whatever. You know, I mean, I'm just saying that if you're, you know, or if you don't like it, if if it doesn't work, you know, if you buy a blender and it doesn't blend too well, you should be able to return it. Yeah. Right. You, you, I mean, you can go to a store and do the same thing. So, uh, that's so anyway. That's what the, um, if you get kicked off of Amazon, and you know they're gonna rule the world, because you know what you go to Whole Foods, right? Owned by Amazon, they bought Whole Foods. Uh, Amazon's buying all sorts of stuff, and you know Toys R Us went out of business, and uh, you know I, I keep hearing these rumors that Amazon may take over some of those spaces and open up like big Amazon stores. Yeah. You might try that. They're flipping it. They're they're no stores and then they're they're putting all these stores out of business and then and then they're gonna open stores. Sneaky. <laughs> yeah. Huh? Sneaky if you ask me. All right. Well uh also Amazon is coming out with a new app. When you order something, you wanna know where it is, right? Yeah. Don't you? Yeah, so you see, you can see when it arrives. You want, you must, yeah. Well, you know what? Now it's more than you can see when it arrives. You can actually track your package, and uh, it'll uh, it'll tell you. They have, they have they have this app coming out. It'll tell you exactly where your package is. Well, In other words, if it's on a truck. You'll be able to look it up, and you'll be able to see the truck moving closer to your house, closer to your house, closer. And then, so you will really be able to track your package. <laughs> How does that sound? That sound that sounds cool. But like, what if you order a international item? Then will it show up all the way across the world? You know, that's interesting. I I don't I I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how it's going to work out. But that's what they're doing. Uh, is they are uh, coming out with this app that'll that will allow you to track your package, um, and I think that's um, um, pretty cool. I was I was just looking up for some information because I had some stuff uh, pulled up previously. So you do like to do that with your package, huh? Yeah. All right. So here it is. They're taking it to the next level, and this is what I wanted to tell you. So. Uh, just like we talked about, you're, you know, you, you say, you see the day that it, you know, you, you see the day that it's going to be supposed to be delivered on, right? You mm-hmm. see that. And so, so what do you do? You don't go to school. You don't do anything. You go, Oh, my package is coming today. Like, you know, right. Exactly. Okay. Right. You go, Oh man. Oh man. You know, but, uh, so last week, Amazon rolled out a new feature it is out. that allows customers to track packages on a map when the package is within 10 stops of their home according to cnet feature comes with the one little caveat it's only available for packages shipped through amazon's logistics service not the uh, post office or fedex or ups so it's only stuff that amazon delivers on on their trucks uh or they hire companies actually that d- delivers only Amazon stuff. So if your package is shipped through Amazon, the uh, it will be listed uh, on AMZL underscore US. So this comes uh, after the news that Amazon is looking to beef up its logistics network. You know, logistics is like, you know, yeah. you know, what's interesting is uh, some years back, uh, UPS did this study. This guy did, you know, how can we say we have these big giant trucks, delivery trucks, these brown trucks? What's, you know, so he figured out that even though it may take a little uh, more miles, if you take more right turns, you're actually more efficient. So when packages are being delivered, the driver has a map of where the next package is, and most of them are right turns. So they don't have to wait at a stoplight for a yeah. left turn. Well, necessarily. Pretty cool. Yeah. You know? But Amazon, get back to this map thing, you know, uh, they started to test the map tracking with a small group of users last year as part of an ongoing effort to make its delivery process more transparent. Uh, and so there you go. You can uh, now uh, track your package when it, with, with, if it's in, within 10 stops of your house or wherever you are, as long as being delivered by Amazon or one of, because like uh, I have a relative who works for a company and 
all they do is they have a bunch of trucks and they deliver for Amazon. So they go to the Amazon distribution center, they pick up all the stuff and they go to that. So, uh, so it's all good. Just don't return it. <laughs> okay. You get kicked out. Uh, hey, so, uh, do you like to ride bikes? I, I do. Yeah. Do you? Do you? All right. So I, I, I did this last year and I, cause I've been out riding bikes a lot and I just thought I'd show you a couple, show you my bikes really quick. Okay. okay? So I have a, uh, this is one of my bikes. It, it, it's a, a fixie, which is kind of interesting. I don't want to get into it. It's got a freewheel hub on it if you flip the back wheel. Uh, but the most important thing on it is right like right here. See see that red thing? Yeah. You can push that, and, and it'll have a flashing red light. So if it's getting dark out, yeah. right? Okay. And it's kind of hard to see, but uh, right here. Oh, uh. I have a little mount, and I have a flashlight. So then you can see where you're going in and the dark. And people can see me. Yeah. Right? Mm hmm That's important stuff. That is. So that's my fixie bike. Um, take that off there. This is my road bike. This thing will tell you everything. It'll tell you how fast you're going, your average speed, your high speed, your, your low speed, uh, your uh, cadence. And cadence is how many times per minute are you pedaling around, okay? Uh, it'll tell you the temperature. It will tell you where the, it'll, it'll bring up a map on GPS of the nearest bike shop in case you need to get your bike fixed. It will uh, it, do everything except ride for you. Oh. <laughs> You have well, to do that your own. Although there's a lot of electric bikes coming out now. Yeah, I think that's the next bike you need to get. You know what? You there you can retrofit bikes now with uh, a kit, and there are electric bikes coming. out. It's going to be a big deal, um, a really big deal. But just I don't know if you know how this stuff works, but um, I'll show you right above the Kid Friday logo, right there. Do you see that? Kind of. Yeah. Did you see that? That. Yeah, I'll point to it again. That is a magnet that's attached to my wheel. And then there is a sensor right here. And as it goes around, it picks up that magnet. And it'll that's how it gives me my speed. It'll tell me how yeah. fast I'm going. Cool. So that's how it is. And then how many times per minute that you're pedaling? Uh, behind, this is the, cr this is the crank. Um... That this is called the crank right here. On the other side of it, there's a magnet. And then there's a sensor right here. So as you pedal around, it tells you how... <laughs> how uh, That's a green machine right there. It'll tell you how, how many times per minute you're going. To because So if you're doing specific training and stuff, that's that. Now, did you see the bike in Studio C here out on the uh, balcony? Yes, I did. Okay, so I've owned that bike forever. It was my dad's bike, and for like a long, 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 long time, I've been wanting to refurbish it because I just think it's kind of cool. And it's made in England. It's a really cool bike. 1969. Wow. And it's got an internal three-speed hub. Okay, so check this out. Talk about old technology, but interesting. So, uh... You know what that is? A light, yeah. right? Yeah, right. very good. Hey, yeah, I like you playing light. That's good, <laughs> all right. All right, so um, that's a light. Now, this is the back wheel, okay? Now, when you pedal, you're, you, when you pedal, your, 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 your bike, your, your wheel goes around and around, right? Uh-huh. Okay, so this, uh, this thing right here, when you're pedaling, and you, ha you have it pushed up against the rim, that spins around, and it powers your light. Ah, uh, that's so cool. And that's from, like, a long time ago. So then you have to go fast for the light to turn on. Well, yeah. The thing is, you can take this, and you can just tilt it back uh, away from the wheel. Then your light won't be on, and you can just ride. So, it, huh. you know, just ride. But then when you want your light on, you just push it up against the wheel, and... You're riding. It's old technology, but kind of cool, isn't it? That's a little sticker that's on the bike there. And 
Uh, yeah, a little bit. Anyway, uh, I've been telling myself for some 20 odd years that I'm going to fix that bike to make it look like that. That's a picture of a new one. That's just like the old one or similar. Know what I mean? Yeah. All right. Okay. So how often do you bike? Um, well, I bike, um, uh, mostly hey, it's not on qu- the it's weekends. It's not a quiz. Nobody, uh, you know. Uh, I don't really know. Whenever I want to bike, I'll just get on the bike and ride. Really? Yeah. Nice. I like that schedule. Whenever you like, just you just get on your bike and ride. Yeah, just for fun. You know what? Make sure that you wear a helmet because that is important. I went for a ride, I think it was like th- four days ago. And I, I was on the bike path. And up ahead, I see two police cars and an ambulance. Oh, no. Were you with me? That's what I, I said. Wasn't. That's what I said. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> That's what I said. Oh, no. And I went up there, and they were, I don't know what happened, but uh, they were putting this the guy who was riding, who was a cyclist, uh, he is, they were putting him on a stretcher. And, uh, you know, if you're riding and you fall and you hit your you nog in there, that can, or whatever. I don't know what happened. I hope he's okay. Police cars from two different cities were there. Right oh. above, you know, put it this way, right above Highway 100. No one knows Highway 100. You do. Yeah. No. All right. So, uh, anyway, uh, Sophie, I think you know a little bit about this. Nint- the, the warranties with Nintendo and Sony, right? I think, I think something is, first off, that Switch. The Switch is a hit. The Xbox One is a hit. Of course, the Sony PlayStation, man. And I know, Sophie, I, you were telling me about this. Uh, you were talking about this earlier. To, uh, yeah, so six major hardware manufacturers received warning letters from the U.S. Federal Trade Commission, or Commission early this month, which stated that their warranties might conflict with the U.S. law. In response, Nintendo and Sony have announced that with, that they will update their policies according to U.S. Gamer. The six companies were ASUS, HTC, Hyundai, Microsoft, Nintendo, and Sony. The FTC warned them that their respective warranties, which specified that the consumers, you, that the consumers YouTube it just. So, you know, Google old YouTube, do you know that it didn't, that I didn't know, yeah. Yeah, they bought at the bottom. I remember every moment regardless. They have a reminder now that you can't set a reminder like you're watching too much YouTube as some people like to watch a lot to YouTuber on it. Oh, yeah, that's a different, that's a different thing, the YouTuber thing. Yeah. 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 I mean, it's the same, but different, but... it's just like that. These gamers, you know what? These gamers, uh, these gamers, they, they play forever. Yeah. The, and I think, correct me if I'm wrong, rumor has it, your brother, maybe one of those people? Yeah, I, I think he fits into that category. Do, does he? Yeah, he'll play for hours and hours, especially with his friends. They'll all talk on the mic with each other and just play f- for hours, oh. like until morning. So does he have that headset with the whole uh-huh. microphone, and uh, does he have a special chair? Yeah. Does he? The uh, chair and everything. So, and then the next day, uh, you go, "Hey, get up!" And he's like, "Oh, we yeah. have." <laughs> he might still be playing. You never know. Wow, he still be gone. Wow. What does he? What What kind of games? Oh uh, well, he's really big on playing Fortnite. If you've ever heard of it. And he plays some other games too, but mostly that one. Have you ever played that? Um, sometimes he'll let me play when. Sometimes he'll let you. What yeah. That, what does that mean? Sometimes he'll let you. Like, since it's his, like his Xbox and everything. If I want to play, he'll be, he'll be resent or like, he'll just say, "Fine, you can play," and then I'll play for like an hour. Or and then so. you get back at him when he says, "Hey." Could I um, use some of your nail polish? And you say no, and he's and he's like gets all mad, right? Yeah. Is that how you get back to back at him? Yeah. No, maybe not. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, anyway, he, so he's one. He is. He is. It, he. I didn't know he was that big of a all nighter gamer uh, thing. Wow. And he's got a, his group of 
people or whatever. Yeah. Right? That's cool. That's cool. Uh, the YouTube thing was because that's gone. First off, the FTC the, is the Federal Trade Commission. And so they always try, you know what? Don't worry about it. And there's other stuff they could be doing. Just saying. Yeah. Uh, but uh, the, the, the thing with YouTube, because I know we were talking about that earlier, right? I said, you, I asked, do you watch, you know, do you watch YouTube? And you said, yeah. I said, yeah. Mm-hmm. do you watch a lot of YouTube? No. Huh? Do you know that there are some people that, first off, 80% of the stuff that people watch, on average, okay, through the, there was a study done. Um, I forget where I saw it. But 80% of the stuff that you watch on YouTube is are, are things that you, you know, that are suggested to you that are on your homepage or if you have it on auto next or whatever, they have suggestions based upon your viewing habits. So I, you know what I'm saying? So I'll go on YouTube and now, and and now they have, um, uh, they've curated playlist for you that you can just hit it. We've made a special channel just for you based on all your stuff and you can hit it. I did that earlier today and it was, it was. It needs a little work because um, I saw the same story. Like there's, a, I'm really following this this volcano in Hawaii. You, you following this at all? I, so, no, I'm it's, not. It's, it's it's wild, but they. So I so they, uh, you, you know, because I've watched so much stuff on YouTube about the volcano in Hawaii. It played a story, and then right after that, it played the same story again. Exact yeah. same one. I'm like, I think you on. have to watch more stuff then, because it's just giving you volcano stuff. No, no, I'm talking about the exact same volcano story uh, from the same network, from the same source, it, not even a different one. You know, I'll see a different. But well, anyway, uh, uh, it's quite a volcano in Hawaii. We we'll have to talk about that lava some sometime. It's kind of interesting. But YouTube, if you watch too much YouTube, Google says. Uh, who owns YouTube? You know, I, we're going to try and help you cut back a little bit because you're, you know, you, we should maybe, uh, as good people, uh, give you a, uh, I'm looking for something here. Yeah, look at this. Check that out. So you can now uh, kind of uh, <laughs> remind you that, hey, you've been watching YouTube for, you know, 90 minutes. Maybe you need a break. Huh? Yeah. You know, maybe you need a break. Just, just maybe, maybe you need a break. Um, so they have added this feature. Uh, I, I don't know why. I, uh, that wouldn't dissuade me if I, if I'm still interested. Do you think if, um, do you think if your brother, uh, if something came on and said, you know what, you've been playing for, for 14 hours now. Maybe it's time to take a break. Do, do you think that? message would help depends maybe he'll realize like oh my god i haven't eaten breakfast in two Uh, days you know what that's funny that's exactly what i was thinking (laughs) oh you know what i'm kind of hungry right not that i'm watching too much or not that my eyes are like glued you know i mean (laughs) i don't think it's so good for you you know staring at that but a reminder like that would, would would be pretty good pretty cool so uh anyway uh so youtube has all these other settings and they added that to it so uh and there's the big youtube logo hey so um just for fun for practice uh oh we don't want to do that just for practice do you want to would you like to draw on the youtube logo uh as practice i love to okay all right go for it uh so uh, and she's an artist so I have total faith in what you have to hold it down. You have to hold. There you go. Oh wow! What do you? What is that? Uh, is that a? Is that a heart? Yeah, kind of lopsided. Or is it a pretzel? Is that a pretzel? Now I'm hungry. <laughs> now I'm hungry. If you need a reminder to eat. Mm. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, you know what? Can't you set that on your phone or what? Anyway, YouTube's YouTube's trying to be good with that. I watch YouTube all the time. There's so much stuff on there. And I've learned how to fix things by watching stuff on YouTube. But sometimes you have to watch three or four videos to get to the person who actually knows what they're doing. 
Yeah. Because there's a lot of people out there who do stuff on they put YouTube videos out like they're the professional, and I'm like, uh, you're not the professional. <laughs> I know I'm not, but I certainly know you're not even more. So uh, anyway, we're gonna take that back. And oh, oh, if I gotta, you know what? That just reminded me, I've got a surprise for you, Sophie. Sophie. I don't know. Now, someone may have told you about this already. I drive past it now every day when I when I go to the other studio, the office, right? There's a place that just opened up. Anybody tell you about a place that just opened up recently around here? No. No? You're going to freak out when you see the combination of this. Okay. Are you, seriously? No one's told you? No. No one's told you. Okay. So it, it, you come out of the parking garage, all right? I take a right, and then I take an immediate right, okay? Two blocks from here, two blocks. I hope I'm not hyping this up, but I don't think I okay. am because, because this combination, who would think of it? They were thinking of you specifically. Check this out. It is the Waffle Bar Desserts and tea. Oof. Sophie, do you like tea? I love, t that's my favorite drink ever. I know. I don't know about the waffles, but desserts and tea together. Have you ever heard of anything like that? Well, sometimes when I drink my tea, I might have like a cookie or no, something. No, <laughs> but have you ever heard of a place that you could go to that they're, they call themselves Dessert, they have desserts and tea? Because you're a huge tea fanatic. You know, I know you know, um, you know your tea. And what, what company stopped making tea? You bought out their entire inventory? <laughs> well, I didn't buy them out, but Starbucks did. They bought out Teavana, and it used to be my favorite tea store to go to, and I'd get all of my tea there. But now you can buy like individual drinks at Starbucks, but you can't buy the tea leaves anymore, which is kind of sad. But didn't you pick up like a bunch of uh, t when they were? Well, yeah, when they were closing down, I stocked up for the cup for the next couple of years. What well, next couple of years? Yeah, that wow. that's how long it should last me. About does tea is tea good for that long? I have no idea. I, maybe it's good well, forever. I don't know. Since it's like dried fruit, I guess, and leaf. I don't think it would really go bad. No, I, you know, I don't know. Yeah. So I, I'll tell you one thing. Some stuff has, well, I shouldn't be saying this, but because I don't, but there are a few things out that have expiration dates on them and <laughs> yeah. only to make you buy more. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like, it's fine, but it, it's, uh, you didn't hear it from me. Yeah. Um, so uh, isn't that amazing though? Huh? Yeah. And then we could say the waffle bar. Hey, you know what? There's Subway right there. Subway. They could be a sponsor of Kid Friday. Maybe. Huh? Maybe. So, hey, hey, Subway, will you be a sponsor of Kid Friday? Hello? What? No? Oh, what? Oh, okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We're getting, gonna get rid of the Subway there. Why, why should they be on there if they're not a sponsor? I was just showing you the waffle bar. Hold on. What? Maybe the waffle bar will be a sponsor. I think they need to probably get up and running a little, uh, for a little bit. Uh, before they start sponsoring Kid Friday. But that Subway has a lot of money. Uh, hold on. What? I'm getting something, a message through my left ear. The regional manager said, Subway is sponsoring Kid Friday. What? Oh, sorry, so wrong. <laughs> wrong. Wrong wrong number. All right, never mind. Forget the Subway. Do you like the Subway? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. But look at this combination. Desserts. And tea. You interested in checking that out sometime? Yeah, we'll have to. That's pretty amazing. I'll Maybe have to go there soon. You know what? Uh, uh, I'm gonna take that. I should probably say something like, "I'm not going to though." Okay. Let's just pretend. Uh, Sophie, uh, for being a guest here on Kid Friday, we're giving you a gift certificate to the dessert and tea. You we're should not. definitely say something like that. There was yeah. a, there was a disclaimer. I said I said uh, I, I said I should. You should. You're right. Right. right? <laughs> For being a guest, uh, here's, uh, but well, number one, I don't feel bad 
because it sounds like you're stocked up on tea for the next few years. Well, I'm not stocked up on dessert. Ooh. What is your favorite dessert? Um, it depends. But I really like cookies and brownies and cookies and cake were you, and Were you ever in the brownie pie. selling cookies? Huh? Well, oh, that's the Girl Scouts. Um, <laughs> so you like, uh, uh-huh. Are you allergic to anything? Uh, Nuts or anything like that? No, no food allergies. No food allergies. That's what I, hey, that's what I meant. Okay. So uh, if you had to have one, okay, right now, and, and hey, this is not real, okay? Hmm. If you could have one dessert, right? Because there's that, I heard about that cake place. I think it was personally uh, a little overhyped, but uh, maybe I'm wrong though. I don't. I don't mind. No. If you could have one dessert right now, your favorite, whatever, right now, you, you know, you could change in an hour, but right now, what would you pick? I have warm chocolate chip cookies right out of the oven, Ooh. with like melted chocolate and everything, oh. with a tall glass of milk. Oh, they're gooey. Yeah. And oh, do you dunk the cookie in the milk, or is it too soft? At this point, it's you lose too it. soft. You lose yeah. it. You ever tried it and like lost? Yeah, right? that's that's the worst. Then you have chocolate milk. Yeah. Right. <laughs> wow, that's good. Now you're making me hungry. We might have to get some cookies. All right. You know what? I think we're just gonna wrap this show up. By the way, there I, we were gonna mention the the Amazon uh, uh, Echo Dot. Um, Everyone wants you to be a part of their uh, infrastructure. Apple has their stuff with their speakers and Siri. And Amazon has the Echo and, and, and Alexa. And um, uh, Google has has their deal. And so uh, it, the thing is, it's, it's kind of, it, it picks up on all the information, you know, anything you say. And you, do you ever hear, you know, your information, uh, you know, all the information is secure and, you know, it's, we, it, no one can get to it. It's encrypted into, do you ever hear stuff like that? Yeah. And then you hear, they just got broken into, they stole all the names and phone numbers and credit card numbers and, because there's always someone out there a little smarter than, I mean, it may be encrypted today, but, you know, Next week, they figured out somebody figured out a way to hack into it. So, uh, my advice is this: forget if anyone says it's encrypted. It's weird because I have Siri on all the time, and I never ask it anything. Every once in a while, it'll come on accidentally, right? Because it's something I say, you know, "Hey Siri," and I did this on one Kid Friday, and people who had phones they were going off. Really? Uh, yeah, yeah, When yeah. you said, hey, Siri, and then so all I, people's I, I, phones were buzzing. So, so I, went, I went like this. Hey, Siri, what's the temperature? Because I played it back, and then all of a sudden my phone went beep, and it said, the temperature is, it, it, it cut off Kid Friday. <laughs> it cut it off because it, it heard, I was playing it, uh, maybe I was playing it on my computer, or the, I don't know, but it went off. All right, so um, we just need to know this. A little more information from you, all right? We're collecting a database. Not. You, <laughs> okay. have, a cell, you have a cell phone, right? Yes, I do. Okay, so uh, just curious, what do you got? I have an Apple on, iPhone. Uh, an iPhone. Which, uh, can I ask which one? I don't know. You I don't forgot. know? That's all right. doesn't matter. I was just curious. Um, speaking of that, I did mention at the beginning of the show that um, there's a class action lawsuit that has been filed against the Apple folks. And uh, the keyboard, uh, a lot of people are complaining because the keyboard and Apple, the, 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 the whole thing is, is that the, there's, there's a claim uh, out there that Apple knew about this problem when they were before they released the computer. So, because, you know, everything, Apple makes everything so thin and this, right? Yeah. And as part of that, though, it could affect functionality. And uh, 
so there were people that are that not only saying that you know what this keyboard is, and it happened actually you know it happens and so not only is it, it happened to too many people that you know i'm sure they'll make it right but it's interesting it's an interesting accusation not from me but from what i read that apple knew about this problem before it, the computer was released they knew about an issue with the keyboard and and they still went ahead and and uh and put it out that's the claim anyway um that's what they're saying. I, uh, you know what? Uh, and as long as we're, we're gonna wrap, getting things wrapping this up, uh, Spirit Airlines. You've never flown Spirit Airlines? No. You haven't, huh? Have not. Okay, I'm not a big guy. All right, but their legroom, Sophie, is not the best. Not the best. <laughs> okay. All right. Do you see this guy? Huh? Yeah, that looks pretty uncomfortable. It is uncomfortable. And um, now, uh, now look at this guy. Kind of looks like he, he probably has his legs kind of in the, in the aisle almost. It looks like yeah. try to avoid that, huh? It must be over there somewhere. Uh, this guy, I don't know, but uh, he's got a leg. If you're taking spirit to Hawaii, it, you can be like that. Woo, yeah, that'd be something else. So uh, big exciting news from. The airline with the um, crappy leg room, sorry, uh, is that they're um, coming up. They're going to be offering Wi-Fi on the plane for uh, an average $6.50. Isn't that exciting news? Yeah. So uh, I've flown Spirit myself, and I will say that um, it is, they squish you in there. But with that said, however, the flight was pretty cheap. Yeah. But you have to, they charge you. See, see, it's all these extra charges. Besides charging you the bag, they charge you if you want to bring a bag on the plane that, to go in the overhead. Oh. If it won't fit under your seat, which we all know have seen, they're, they're not big seats. Uh, if they, they charge you to put it in the overhead now i had a backpack with me and i was going to put it under the seat but i got on the plane sorry spirit come on feel me i threw it up top all right because is you have no layer plus it something under your seat now you're really uh squashed right so look forward to flying spirit some someday <laughs> but the, but wow i did save a ton of money so I guess that's the cost, you know, being a little uncomfortable for uh, a couple of minutes. I don't know. You fly? You, you fly? Are you a big yeah. flyer? Yeah. I'm not a big flyer, but I've definitely gone before. Yeah, get, get up there. Yeah, we're, we're like, go uh, anywhere recently or were the last, any fun places? Well, the they... last place I went was to New York for summer camp. Ooh, Which nice. is really fun. Nice. That was last summer. Um, hopefully, what? I'll go again this summer. What's the name of the camp? It's called Brookwood Camps, and Where's it's it? really fun, and I recommend everyone to go. Brookwood's Camp? Brookwood. Brookwood Camp. Camps. Yeah. Just, we can just Google that, probably, huh? Probably, Brookwood yeah. Camp. We've got a really cool website. Yeah? Yeah. It's, you should check it out. Check it out. Brookwood Camp. I love camp. Me too. I went... I, I, no, I went I, I went, you know, when I was little, my parents bought one of these pop-out trailers, and we went camping. And, um, but then, and we'd start a fire, and there'd be lots of bugs, you know. Not like the camps of today. I think it's good. Brookwood Camp. Yes. In New York. In New York. In New York City? In the city? In Glen Spain, New York, so. Oh, oh yeah. so it's like, it's like up in the uh, Poconos or something like that. Yeah, I'm not upstate a New, York, New uh, York. Upstate, okay, so Brookwood, Brookwood Camp. All right. Well, uh, Sophie, can't thank you enough for being on Kid Friday Show 224. Thanks for having me. And as for being a special guest here on Kid Friday, we're going to give you a 
uh, glow in the dark toothbrush. All right. Um, I've been having these sit under a light and um, I'm going to try them out. Someone had given, uh, you don't need to know the story, but uh, <laughs> the backstory. You can always break the brush part off too. And you know what? I was thinking of um, taping a few to my spokes on, on one of my bikes. Wouldn't that be cool? You know, you could also take glow sticks. Those might work better. There and are they're cheaper. You know what though? You can go out and you can buy glow in the dark paint. There's yeah, glow in the just... dark spray paint. And there are bicycle companies that make bikes that glow in the dark. They come that way. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Maybe that's the next bike I should get. A glow in the dark bike. Glow in the dark bike. Yeah. Well, whatever. If you're out biking, be safe. Wear a helmet. And uh, and so uh, no no dessert, no tea, but a toothbrush. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. All right. And we'll ravage things up. Can't thank you enough. Uh, we do the show because you're a kid in a digital world, and we like to end with the beginning. So that's what we do. Any final words? Sophie, we'd love to have you back. You're like one of the best guests ever. Wow. Thank you. You are. Uh, any final words? Now, remember, Kid Friday is viewed in over 200, and, well, over 200, always it was 219 like a couple weeks ago last week i think it was 224 224 countries um anything you want to say to 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 uh, any kid around you know someone? i just like to say thanks for watching i had so much fun on the show you had fun awesome. yeah it was super fun oh, cool. i'm glad i got invited and yeah, just thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. All right. And if you do like this and you are watching on iTunes, go in and write a review, will you? Because that means so much. It really does. Um, and then Kid Friday will be featured more uh, in iTunes. And so then more kids will learn about and discover Kid Friday. Yeah, that would uh, be so cool. I I'll, I'll hope everybody does that. Last time I checked, we in the top 10 in kids and family video. So, uh, no, we weren't. We were number 11. But once this show goes out, wow. Crazy. Hopefully then. All right, we end with the beginning, so uh, we'll talk to you on show 225, and we're going to try and crank these out a little bit more often, right? Huh? Come on. All right. See you on the next show. Bye-bye. Bye. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it. Oh! Let's get this party started. All right. yeah.